these boxes will break the $5,250 bank. Is this one of them? Or is it this one? Or this one? We'll find out in a moment in this game of hide and seek as these nine celebrities, Dick Godier, Beverly Garland, Cody Goodman, Robert Reed, Rip Taylor, Judy Carr, J.P. Morgan, Bobby Riggs, and Lonnie Shore all join us in playing Break the Bank. Now, meet our host, Tom Kennedy. Hello there. Thank you. Hiya, gang. Hi, y'all. Good to see you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you all. You folks at home are looking good today, too. A little warm out there, isn't it? All right, let's play Break the Bank. Ernie Anderson, can we meet our two players? Certainly will. Our current champion who broke the bank for $6,250, Mary Chesnika. <laughs> and her opponent, the police sergeant who also teaches criminal law, Gene Ingram. <laughs> yes, indeed. Mary Chesnika, when she broke that bank, she said she's going to go to Hawaii, right? Right. You're going to go alone? No, I think I'll take my boyfriend. What? Really? Terrific! <laughs> That's what happened kind of... to that thing? Huh? Lonnie, you're not doing anything. Is that what you said? No, I thought we had an arrangement. Oh. <laughs> well, you may still. Let's find out. Gene Ingram, we found out yesterday, is a police sergeant. Any other uh, members of the family in the uh, no. enforcement, law enforcement work? I have two brothers. You mean in the police work? And a father. In police work? That's correct. And a great-great-grandfather. They were thieves. No kidding. <laughs> You got the whole darn department there in the Ingram family. Yeah. That's sensational. How old are your two kids, Gene? I have a boy nine months and a girl oh. seven. Oh, that's terrific. Sweet. Funny and name so, for a kid. What's that, Lonnie? <laughs> Funny name for a kid, seven. <laughs> we're going to put it just a minute. <laughs> All right, Gene and Mary, we're going to play our game. Now, of course, you remember how we play. If a player misses a question, the opponent gets the box unless that box leads to a win. Now, if a box leads to a win, the player must earn it by coming up with the right answer. And every question we have, incidentally, with every new game, we increase the bank by $250. And the first player to get three of the same money boxes wins. And now, uh, Mary, we left off with you. And uh, as a matter of fact, we're starting a brand new game with you. So would you be so kind as to start us off? OK, I would like to start with box number three. Number three for Rip Taylor and Beverly Garland. Could we see box number three? Oh, <laughs> El Blanco. Gene? Number eight, please. Number eight for Rip Taylor and Robert Reed. Box number eight, please. It's a $200 box. Hey, Rip, you are an average wild gorilla. How much do you weigh? Uh, with my banana? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to smack you when this turkey's over. <laughs> uh, about 500 pounds. Give or take an ounce. Robert Reed. <laughs> Well, I, I guess it would depend on whether it was a male or a female gorilla, but I, I'm going to guess a little less than Rip and say about 300 pounds. Gene? I'll go with uh, 300. No, sir, about 500 pounds. So that box automatically goes over to Mary Chesnika, and she takes the next pick. I'll try box number four for another Number four for J.P. Morgan and Beverly Garland. Box number four is a $100 box. Hey, J.P., mm -hmm. Amman, the capital of Jordan, was known under what name in ancient times? Bakersfield. Oh. <laughs> no. I suppose it was, uh, no, I know this for sure. It's Philadelphia, which is just like Bakersfield. <laughs> Beverly? Well, we're going there this uh, in October. So we've been doing a lot of reading about it, and it's Jerusalem. Mary? Would you repeat that question? Yes, ma'am. Amman, the capital of Jordan, was known under what name in ancient times? Your two choices are Philadelphia and Jerusalem. I think it's Jerusalem. No, ma'am. Philadelphia. No. The $100 box goes over to Gene Ingram. I'll go for number nine, please. Number nine for JP and for Robert. And could we see box number nine? He found another $100 box. <laughs> JP, what game are you playing if you squidge and squope to a victory? It could be squop instead of squope. <laughs> well, which is it? It's S-Q-U-O-P. Oh, that, that's... 
I suppose not. <laughs> Um, that would be um, Squidge and Squoge. No, I know what it is. It's Tiddlywinks, you oh. fool. <laughs> Robert Reed. Gee, that sounds pretty good to me. Uh, we play a lot of games in the house, but I don't recognize the term. So I'm, there's one game that's popular that we don't play, and it's backgammon. That's what I'm going to say. All right, Gene. <laughs> it's Tiddlywinks. That's it. It's Tiddlywinks. <laughs> <laughs> You have two $100 boxes so far, Gene. Number 10 to win. Number 10, looking for the third 100, and if he finds it, he could win the game and $300 and a special prize. Could we see box number 10? Blank. All right, Mary. Okay, I think I will try box number two for another All 200. Right. Okay, that's with Dodie Goodman and Beverly Garland. And could we see there is a money bag. It's at $5,250, the bank, that is. Uh, no, I'll pass that up. I'll try box number five. Number five. All right, that's for Lonnie Shore and Beverly Garland. Could we see box number five? And it could be for a block. Yes, indeed. Yeah. It's a $100 box. So that would block Gene, Lonnie. Yes. In the old comic book, Superman always said something before he leaped out of a building. Uh, what did he say? Lord's Prayer. <laughs> <laughs> that weirdo in his underwear and his blue hair. And he, he, he had to say something. He did. He, you know what? He, I remember he used to say, Justice for all, and then jump. Okay. <laughs> Beverly? <laughs> I you love it. That. No, 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 Weird. no. He, he didn't because I was in a. Weird. You won't believe this, but I did a Superman television thing, and that puts me back a long time. And he used to, when he'd get to that ledge, he'd go up, up, and away. <laughs> Wrong. Mary. Do you remember the two choices? <laughs> no. Well, they are. You know what we're talking about? Try and keep yeah. up, yeah. Annie. Questions. All right. The, the, Lonnie said, he said, justice for all. And Beverly said, he said, up, up, and away. I think it was justice for all. No, it was up, up, and away. <laughs> and we're going to go up, up, and away. We'll be right back. Don't you go away. All right, Mary did not have the correct answer on that, and since it would uh, amount to a win for Eugene, you do not automatically inherit that $100 box, and I'm referring, of course, to number five. So which box would you like to pick? I think I'll go with number five to win. He's going to stay with that and try to uh, make a win out of it. Now, if he comes up with the right answer, he can win the game and $300, and it's for Lonnie Shore and Beverly Garland. All right, Lonnie, name the first woman ever to be appointed to a president's cabinet and to head a federal government. Well... When I was at the University of Richmond, I was a history major, and it's true. Um, 1953, in, in the, in the uh, Department of Interior. No, wait a minute. Though. There was a woman, the, the, the lady that is the head of the uh, Health, Education, and Welfare. Her name is uh, Ovita Culp Hobby. She's Beverly? the first one. Uh, no, Beverly? my little girl is studying this in school, and she was the um, Secretary of Labor, and her name was, uh, I think, Frances. Um, Ah, uh, Perkins. All right, Gene, this is for the game for Colvati. $300. Pardon me? Colvati, was it? That no. He said? he said Ovita Culp Hobby. I'll go with that one. No, it was Francis Perkins, Secretary of Labor, as Beverly told you, and so that box reverts unless Mary would like to choose that box. Oh, she automatically gets it. That's right, because it would not be a win for her. You now have that block, Mary, and you make the next pick. Okay, I'll try box number seven for another 200 uh, Say that again? Number Num seven. Yes, all right. And it's for Dodie Goodman and Robert Reed. Could we see box number seven? <laughs> oh, oh, all right. Gene? Uh, go with number 15, please. Number 15. And that's for Lonnie and for Judy Karn. And there's a money bag. The bank's at 5250 I'll pass on that and go with number two, please. All right. Number two for Dodie Goodman and Beverly Garland. Could we see box number two? Another money bag. I'll pass on that and go with number six, please. <laughs> and that's for Dick Godier and Robert Reed. Could we see box number six this time? And there is a $300 hey. box. Okay, Richard. Yeah. In the Bible, it was considered to be the first skyscraper. What was it? The first skyscraper? It's Goliath in French heels. <laughs> um, no, I guess it wasn't. Uh, you didn't read the Bible? Uh, it was uh, the Tower of Babel. Robert Reed. First skyscraper. 
I, I would think it might have been one of the mountains, but I don't know which one to choose. Uh, Mount Nebo. Gene? I would say the Tower of Babel. That's right. The Tower of Babel is it. You have a $300 box. Take another. Uh, number one, please. All right. Box number one. Looking for another 300 I presume, huh? It's for Dick Gaudier and Beverly Garland. And there is a blank. Back now to Mary. All right. I'll try number 12. Number 12. That's for Dodie Goodman and Judy Karn. Could we see box number 12? And there is a wild card. That would give you two $200 boxes, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Hey, Dodie. Yes? In the Walt Disney version of Pinocchio, who swallows Pinocchio? Um, well, you would have never thought it, but <laughs> because he had such a little bitty throat. But the wolf, wolf swallowed Pinocchio. I see. <laughs> Judy Carr. Um, no, no, Diddy. Um... The whale swallowed Pinocchio, the big whale. Mary, this is for the wild card. What is your answer? I'll try the wolf. No, it was the whale. And uh, we cannot give that to Gene because that would result in a win for him. He must earn that if he wants to try it. I'll try number 12. He wants number 12. It's the wild card. Once again, for Dodie and for Judy. All right, Dodie. One of the world's smallest uh, republics has the world's smallest army. Name the country. Uh, was that the world's smallest Republican? No, republics. <laughs> oh. One of the world's smallest republics. Uh, oh, republic, yeah. Um, um, uh, let me see now. Uh, th that was Switzerland. Judy Karn. Um, no, the world's uh, smallest army is in San Marino. All right, San Marino. Uh, Gene? I'll go with San Marino. That is it, San Marino. And you have won the game at $300. He had two $100 boxes, and the wild card won the game for him, another $300. Well, Mary Chesnika, we had to say goodbye to you. Mm. Hawaii bound, huh? Yes, perhaps. Hawaii and wherever else you want to go, because you have a grand total of $6,250. Congratulations. Birthday yeah. night. And now our police sergeant, Gene Ingram, has another win racked up here, and he has another prize in store for him. And Ernie, what is it? For his kitchen, his cooking will be quick and easy with beautiful cookware. Miracle Made Cookware and Electro Made Automatic Skillet. Miracle Made features exclusive gem coat interiors, is elegantly styled in a rich charcoal finish, and can be stacked for one burner cooking. And for easy cleanup, a dishwasher. Everything will be sparkling clean with a dishwasher from Kelvinator. This big family size dishwasher, affordable today, can be a built in tomorrow. Kelvinator, an American tradition of excellence in home appliances. Fifty nice, huh, Gene? Great. Puerto Vallarta, cookware, dishwasher, 1200 in cash for $2,570 for our police sergeant. We'll take on a new challenger after this. All right, thank you, Ernie. This is Gene Ingram, our current champ, police sergeant. Hey, incidentally, what does your wife do? Is she uh, Right now, she's walking back from Chicago. Walking back from Chicago? Actually, she's flying the friendly skies, and she's over Denver about right now, I think. Oh, she's a stewardess. Right. Very good. All right. I kept up with that. You now have a total, a grand total of cash and prices of $2,570. Right. And... <laughs> fan club? <laughs> and now you're going to meet a brand new challenger. Ernie Anderson, would you introduce her, please? She's a burglar alarm agent who also works as a model. Diane Dungan. Gene uh, over here works with burglars, and you work with burglars also, huh? Uh, yeah. She Who, models burglar alarms. <laughs> do you model burglar alarms, Diane? No, the company let me go. I was too good for them. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, they did, so you, you no longer work at that. Right. Well, you, you work as a model now. <laughs> yes. What kind of modeling work do you do, Diane? Uh, mostly fashion. Uh-huh. Very good. So do you have a burglar alarm in your home? No. Oh, all right. Yeah, well, Where do you live? <laughs> <laughs> Where do you live and what time ain't you going to be there? 
<laughs> Diane, let's start a new game here. Okay, uh, number 10, please. Number 10 for Lonnie Shore and Robert Reed. Can we see box number 10 for Diane? Oh, hello there, Jean. Hello. Uh, number five, please. Number five for Lonnie Shore and Beverly Garland. Can we see box number five? And it's a money bag. I'll pass on that and go with number nine, please. Number nine for J.P. Morgan and Robert Reed. And let's see what number nine is. There's a $200 box. Hey, J.P., from what material is the bow of a violin made? <laughs> there we go again. <laughs> also, it's made from horse hair. Robert you horse. <laughs> Robert? Well, the strings are made of cat gut, aren't they? Is the bow? I'll say the bow's made of cat gut. Gene? I'll go with cat gut. No, sir. Horse hair, is it? And so that box goes over to <laughs> Diane Dungan, and she has the next choice. Um, I'll take number four. All right, number four for J.P. Morgan and Beverly Garland, and could we see? Box <laughs> Another blank. Gene? I'll go with number 15, please. All right, for Lonnie Shore and Judy Karn. Could we see box number 15, a $200 box? And Lonnie? Yes. In what classic movie does the heroine stand by a wishing well singing, I'm wishing, I'm wishing? In the heat of the night. <laughs> From the movie of the same thing. <laughs> Better than buried the bone than the one that you did. Uh, he, uh, what, what was she singing again? She was singing, I'm wishing, I'm wishing. Wizard of Oz. Judy Carn. No, I'm wishing with Snow White. All right, Diane. Oh, pardon me, uh, Jean. Snow White. Snow White is it. Yes, sir. You have a $200 box. <laughs> All you each have one of those now. <clears throat> Next pick is your... Number 14 again. Number 14 for J.P. Morgan and Judy Carn, And he's looking, and I imagine he found the third uh, $200 box. And uh, that is for J.P., as I said, J.P. and Judy. All right, J.P., Abraham Lincoln was the tallest president at six foot four. Who was the shortest president at five foot four? Well, it wasn't Billy Barty. We know that. So it was... <laughs> uh, of course, it was James Madison. Judy? Of course. No, it was little teeny Millard Fulford. Millard Fulford, yeah. No, well, there was a president by the name of Millard, Millard Fillmore. Is that Fillmore. One Thank you, you Pardon. Fillmore. Gene? <laughs> uh, uh, James John, Madison. Huh? James Madison is right. Yes, sir. You now have two $200 boxes. Number three, please. No, just a second. Hold it. Before you take the next one, we're going to take a little pause here and figure out who George Fulmer was, and we'll be right back. Don't you go away. <laughs> All right, we're in the middle of a game. Gene Ingram has two $200 boxes, and uh, Diane has the third one. And now, Gene, the next pick is yours. Looking for the wild card, I'll try number three, please. And if he finds the wild card, he can win the game in $600. Could we see box number three? And there's a $300 box for Rip Taylor and Beverly Garland. Rip, according to Rona Barrett, what American TV show is the most popular in Mexico? <laughs> Run for your life. <laughs> <laughs> Mira, mira. Uh, <laughs> on the wall, little too. Uh, Carol Burnett show. Beverly Garland. Well, that, that, that is a very popular show in Mexico, but the real, the most popular show is Barretta. I Gene? would go with the police show Beretta. No, the Carol Burnett show. Da, da, da. And that box Barretta. automatically Barretta. goes over to Diane Dungan. Diane, next pick is yours. Uh, I'll go with number two. Number two for Dodie Goodman and Beverly Garland looking for another 300. Did she find it? She <laughs> another blank. She found three of those this game. Over to you, Gene. Number eight, please. Uh, number eight for Rip Taylor, Robert Reed. And let's see what he found there. Box number it's under $300 box, a box for a block. And it's for Rip and Robert Rip in the classic movie, The Pink Panther. What did the title refer to? A detective they weren't quite too sure of. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a, uh, it's not a rhinestone, it's a diamond. Robert oh, Reed. Nothing. You're asking who the Pink Panther was. Yes, it, it says, what did the title refer oh, to? refer to. Well, I must be the only person in the world who never saw the Pink Panther. Diamond, I'm, diamond. The crook. Gene? I would say a diamond. That's right, ah. a diamond, yes. <laughs> well, now, what do you want next, Gene? 
Let me try number one, please. Number one for Dick Godier and Beverly Garland. Can we see box number one? There's a money bag. The bank's at 5,005. I'll pass that and go for number seven, please. Number seven, Dodie Goodman and Robert Reed. And let's see box number seven. What did he find there? That's the third $300 box. All right, Dodie. Yeah. If you were a waiter in a Japanese restaurant and a customer yells fugu to you, <laughs> oh, what, what would you do? Check, please. Oh, promises, promises. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, a fish. I, I bring him. F oh, yeah, I bring him fish. It's a fish delicacy. Robert, actually, it's not. Fugu, it's fugu, and oh. yell it right back to him because it's a terrible insult. Gene? I'll go with fish. That's right, it's a fish, a fish delicacy. And we'll be right back, folks, don't go away. Gene Ingram, we're out of time for now, and we'll take up the game with you in control the next time we come back with Gene Ingram and Diane Duncan and these nine beautiful celebrities, and we'll see you tomorrow with a bank at $5,500. Bye-bye. Our departing contestants will receive two days rental of HR's portable steam carpet cleaning system with a supply of rug cleaner and shampoos. HR carpet care centers available in supermarkets. And however you like chocolate, there's a chunky for you. Four delicious different family size bars. Famous original chunky or new peanut chunky. Plus pecan chunky and solid milk chocolate chunky. Extra thick for extra flavor breaks into 24 thick bite-sized pieces. Chunky, thicker -er chocolate.